All of the toppings go all the way to the edge. It lives up to its name, that cracker thin crust, toppings all the way to the sides. It's a fan favorite, costs about 13 bucks. It came out in 1997, re-emerged in 2009, but hasn't been on the menu since. Mm. And a portrait of the Dalai Lama, made entirely of Rubik's Cubes, <laughs> is going up for auction. The mosaic of the Buddhist spiritual leader on display now in Paris was created by the anonymous French street artist known as Invader. <laughs> it's expected to sell for more than $300,000. What? Invader has a large following of fans and is known for his mosaic tile work, which also includes his interpretation of the Mona Lisa. His fans, known as Flash Invaders, snap pictures of his authentic mosaics, collect points, and compete with other players. It's like an art game. The auction, by the way, is set for July 5th, unless you got, you know, if you got deep pockets. All right, and then Dare Devil Drivers take on the ultimate challenge across the pond. Check it out. It's a need for speed and height as drivers attempt to fly over a line of cars at a raceway in West Sussex. England, boom! Oh, I want to do that. The 2021 car jumping competition held earlier this week drew big crowds. Some drivers managed to pull off the dangerous feet while others just crashed into other cars and flipped over. The drivers are judged in three categories, including <laughs> elevation, distance, and reception from the crowd. Fans filled the raceway to enjoy the exciting event and cheer on their favorite drivers. These are like not high-tech cars with all these, no. um, you know, <laughs> bags that fly out of every direction. And, no, um, this, this, you better have a harness. Dummies. Look, they're crawling out. They're okay. Every time I see that, though, all I can hear is the Dukes of Hazard theme song. I, can't, I, can't I just can't imagine <laughs> do that knowing you're intentionally flipping over. Like, yeah. like how do you yeah. brace for something like oh, that? Oh, I want to do that. Wow. I want to do that so bad. You know, back uh, many decades ago, Leanne, I still remember <laughs> I still remember playing Barnaby in the musical Hello, Dolly. Okay. I got to be Kinnicky in Greece. And these, these are the roles that I got to play in my local community theater. Mm -hmm. And now plans have been made to invest three quarters of a million dollars in Grand Rapids to transform a vacant property on the city's west side into a family-oriented community theater. Terry Host, founder of Host Productions, joins us this morning to share more details. Good morning to you. Hello, thanks for having me. Absolutely, this is some exciting news. It really is. I mean, any time there's another community theater, I get jazzed up. Tell us a little bit about first about Host Productions, <laughs> Terry. Tell us about Host Productions and what it is. Host Productions is a theater company um, we have been around since 2014 um, here in the city of Grand Rapids, Michigan. And um, so we're a theater-based company, production company. Excellent. And you've got a show, I guess, this is kind of uh, exposing Muskegon uh, to what you guys do. And tell us a little bit about Ain't Nothing Like Family. you got a, you got a show coming up in July. Yes, we do. We have a show coming up at the Frauenthal Theater in Muskegon, Michigan. We're so excited about it. That's going to be July 23rd and 24th, uh, of course, at the Frauenthal Theater in, in Muskegon, Michigan. And it's Miss Wilkins Goes to Court. Ain't nothing like family. So we're, we're, we're looking forward to that. We're hoping to get a whole bunch of people out uh, with the pandemic and everything that's been going on people are excited to get back into the motion of things so we're excited we're going to be able to have full capacity at that theater and so yeah we're hoping everybody will come out and get get a really good laugh on we love that everybody can enjoy a good laugh right about now so tell us about the plans for this new theater production company okay so host productions we have like i said we've been around since 2014 and we've come a long way. We've made a lot of progress and we, we believe that now it's prime time for us to have our own home. Uh, you know, we've been going to different uh, venues, doing our shows in, in different parts of Michigan, Ohio. Um, and now we're looking to open up our own theater, uh, our own building um, so that we will be able to not only do our own shows um, in this building, but we will also be able to invite other um, acts to come in and, and do their shows as well. So yeah, we wanna, we wanna revitalize the Northwest side with this community theater. We're really, we're really looking forward to it. And where is this uh, gonna be located at? Uh, and, and more than just putting on shows too, right? I know that you guys might be doing some teaching there too, right? Yes, yes. So just to give you a little bit more input on what we're gonna be doing in that building, um, we have Four, over 400 seats that will be in that building for theater uh, facility. And then we also have um, over 300 seats for banquet 
So oh. banquet facility will be in that building as well. So you will be able to come in and do conferences, um, banquet, uh, you know, you can do a banquet, you can do conferences, you can have weddings in this building. It's, you know, so there's a lot more than just the theater facility uh, that we'll be doing as far as plays and stuff. Um, and then we'll also have some youth programming in that building. We have a big emphasis on youth. So we would like to get the youth in the community involved. Um, a lot of them are interested in acting and playwriting and, um, you know, that sort of thing. Um, videography, sound, lighting. So we're going to be doing some youth programming so we can reach our youth in the community as well. We believe that if we can reach our youth and help them to be more productive in society, it would help them to cause less harm to our society. Absolutely. So Absolutely. We, we have a big emphasis on youth right now. Yeah, Terry, that's that. a very, very good yeah. point. And I, and I know that uh, an exact address can't be, uh, isn't available yet, but this is on the west side, right? This is the part of the revitalization of Grand Rapids West Side, the Northwest? Grand Rapids West Side, yes. Okay. That's part of, yes. Perfect. You are correct. I can't uh, disclose the location sure. right now, unfortunately, but we are excited yeah. that hopefully soon we'll be able to make this big announcement. And um, <laughs> yeah, so we're looking forward to that. Well, that'll be, yeah. that's a good excuse for you to come back on our show, yeah, Terry, sure right? Thing. It'll be <laughs> come back and talk about <laughs> the new building. Ain't nothing like family. Miss Wilkins goes to court. Host Productions, this show, not in the new building yet. This one is going to be held at the Frontel Center in Muskegon, July 23rd, 24th, 7 p.m. Tickets are $30. You want to learn more about Host Productions, Facebook is a place to go, facebook.com slash host productions, or just call 432-7456 if you want to get involved and support them. Thanks, Terry. Thanks, Terry.